Hey guys, Matt Defender here from BeyondGrappling.com. Today uh, I thought I'd show you how I made my homemade TRX band. So uh, I've been training a lot at home. I've got a nine month old now at home. So it's hard to get to and from the gym and that sort of stuff. So I've, I've got the dojo in the garage. Uh, it's only about seven mats. I've got a whole heap of kettlebells. Uh, my mate's got my sandbag at the moment, but I've been doing a lot of uh, home kind of fitness stuff. So I thought I'd have a look at getting some sort of TRX band so I could use some TRX band stuff. I've seen a lot of the, uh, the TRX band stuff that Dan Long does and the link is in the description box below. He's got a whole stack of crazy exercises that get you strong and that sort of stuff. So I was super keen to check out some of uh, the, the workouts that he has got. Uh, but I didn't have any TRX bands. So I kind of Googled around, tried to find some, but they're expensive. Even secondhand ones, like one guy was selling them for 190 bucks. So anyway, I went to Bunnings and oh, I went on to rossboxing.com and checked out some of his stuff. And then I went to just Bunnings and checked out how I could make my own TRX bands and all Roman rings, whatever you like. So pretty much what I did was I went to Bunnings and I got this kind of, it's called Grunt. And it's pretty much just a, a clip like that, that you can just slip one end in, all right, like that, and that's how you make the TRX bands adjustable, okay? So it's really easy to make it adjustable. So I, got, I bought that. These are six bucks fifty from Bunnings. So six bucks fifty for one, so you need two. So that's thirteen dollars. Uh, all up, it's probably going to cost about twenty bucks. Took me about twenty minutes, and I'm not a handyman at all. So pretty much, I bought a four meter long rope. I kind of wish I got the six meter one now, which is maybe eight dollars each. Um, but anyway, so I got the four meter one. I also bought one meter worth of PVC piping, two dollars and five cents for that. So I then I then cut. I measured out my hand width, and I just cut two of uh, these because these are going to be the handles. Uh, and then lastly, I had some rope in the car, so I just had the rope in the back in the boot of the car. So uh, I got this rope. Now I'm actually in my garage. So what I've done is is I've hung this rope around one of the supporting beams, and to do that. Rather than just tying a knot, what I did was, I'll show you in a minute, but with the supporting beam, I put that around the supporting beam, and then I tied in a circular knot like that. Sorry, I'll show you again. Just tie it on, onto itself, like that. So now, it's quite strong. Now from there, what I did was, I got my um, grunt kind of straps. Now these straps hold 100 kilos, it says it on the packet, so obviously if you're bigger than 100 kilos and maybe grab the thicker, more expensive ones, they'll maybe $13 each. But like I said, these are $6.50 for 4 meters, 100 kilo weight, uh, and I'm only, six, I'm only 70 kilos, so that was good for me. And now with the handle, once you cut that to make a handle, round off the edges so it doesn't cut the strap, then to stick this, um, fold it in half, stick it through the handle, once that's done, then what you do, if that's hanging from your, your support beam or your chin-up bar, whatever you've got at home, you just slip that through there, and I'll show you with it, and then, boom, there is your homemade TRX band that you can use. So just hold on one second, while I cut this, I'll hang it up and I'll show you uh, what it looks like in my house. Alright guys, so here's my TRX bands to finish, so you can see how they're hanging up. Um, pretty much because I brought I bought the the four meter one, I had to use kind of some rope, like I said, off the support beam. So then I'm going to hook it around there, and then um, that's my TRX band. Now, I'll do. Let me just jump in there so you can just check me out doing stuff on it just quickly. So um, pretty much there is the TRX band. So you can do whatever you can do your rows. Okay, you can do some some dips on there. Uh, you can do whatever. Uh, you can put your feet up on a chair and do some push-ups, um, but that's pretty much it. And then say, say um, I was doing, say some, I just want to make sure I get the camera. So say I was doing some rows, and I wanted to go a little bit higher up off the ground. All you do is, you just grab your carabiner, unhook it, pull that thing through, fix up your handle, and you're good to go. So that's literally it. It's so easy. If you want to do dips, and you spin around. Dips are really hard. If you have bad shoulders, don't go doing dips on these because you'll probably tear your shoulder out. Um, so that's pretty much my homemade TRX bands. Super, super easy to make. Cost me six bucks, 30, 50 for each of these blue grunt bands. I mean, these are $2 a meter for the, 
for the um, PVC piping, the rope is free, but the rope will cost you two bucks as well. So for fifteen, twenty dollars, you'll have your own TRX band to make it home. Um, only other thing I can say for you to do is get some long ones. See, for me, if I want to do push-ups on them, uh, what I need to do is, because I only grabbed four meters worth, I didn't really measure. I just went to the hardware store and grabbed some stuff just to see. But uh, if I want to do some push-ups on them, the lowest mine go, because it's only a four meter rope, so the lowest mine go are there. So if I want to do push-ups a little bit lower to the ground, I have to undo them and put them on a lower, uh, uh, a longer rope here, so that it's closer to the ground so I can do my push-ups. The only other thing is if you thread the uh, carabiner the wrong way, you'll find you, it won't hold your weight, it'll just slip out. So if I do it like that, it'll slip straight out really, without moving. So it's important that you thread the carabiner the correct direction. But other than that, there's my homemade TRX bands. Literally, like I said, 20 bucks, 20 minutes, you're good to go. Uh, check out for my next video where I'll show you some of the movements I've already been doing with them. Uh, and for everything else, check out the Dan Long's video uh, in the link I click underneath this, uh, in, the, in, in the description box. So have a great week, and I'll talk to you later on.